everybody it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass hope you're having a fantastic day out there today I had a request for this mini lesson and it was talking about how do I get my valves faster and that's a constant thing the trumpet players you know if you ever met a trumpet player down the street you'd shake them and you say hey man I can play higher louder and faster than you no please don't but we don't want to be limited by our valve technique yet I think it's one of the things that trumpet players are the absolute worst at I picked the trumpet because it had three buttons, looked easy, but doesn't mean I have to have subpar valve technique. That makes no sense at all. So, a couple basic rules here. One, try to play without your finger in the octave key, this one. Be careful with what finger you use, but I'm talking about my pinky finger, the octave key. You know the octave key? No, because the these two fingers are connected. So if you lock yourself into that, then you're gonna have problems negotiating the valves. And maybe I should do it this way so you could see it a little bit better. Um, so try not to play with the, try not to play your Clark studies with your wrist. But I see a lot of people with floppy fingers. I am bad about that. I apologize, do as I say, not as I do. But when I'm practicing my Clark studies in the, in the morning, you better believe there. Great valve technique. One thing that you could do is practice your Clark studies with your non-dominant hand. And what I mean by that, most trumpet players play the trumpet right-handed because that's how trumpets are built. Although if you have, um, perhaps, I've seen many left-handed trumpets and one of my teachers, the great John McNeil, played left-handed for quite some time. So practice this left-handed. Sorry, but that will also, once you get back to this, get back to your dominant hand. It gets very fast. Another thing that I had one of my teachers uh, have me do when I was younger, and I think this is a great idea for anybody who has really flat finger technique, is to take the valve button off and focus on playing on the stem itself. Now in this case, there's a pad in the valve, so it's gonna knock it, but. So that's a great tip to do as well. The other thing if you're doing things like the Clark studies, which you should do Clarks. I do Clark one through five every single day. Uh, if I'm practicing Clark one through five, it's on my, it's on my docket. Um, hold on while I put this valve button in. But the other thing that you want to do is vary your rhythmic choices when playing Clark, especially. So if you're going... And you're limited by the tempo, and you just keep practicing as eighth notes, it's kind of like, what does they, they say about, you know, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Vary the rhythm. Switch it around to a dotted eighth sixteenth. Because you're, you're actually compressing some of the distance between these two notes. So you're actually practicing a lot faster, even though the tempo stays the same. And then do it the other way. Hopefully those tips will help a little bit, get your valves a little faster. Then have one last tip for you. It's know thy tempo. Know the tempo where you could play it in your sleep. You know, if somebody calls you at 3.30 in the morning and says, hey, play me Clark 2. If half note equals 160, it doesn't matter. Know the tempo where you're almost to the point where you're falling apart. And then know the tempo that it's just totally breakneck, like really on the, on the rails. Your goal with the metronome is to get each one of those tempos closer to each other. So there is no breakneck tempo. So it's like.
Tempo is not only just a, a, a part of the metronome. Hope that helps. If you have any additional questions, reach out to us, info at austincustombrass.com. Also, take a moment, right above the, all the cool shoggle trumpets in this room, click our button to subscribe to stay up to date. Hit that bell icon as well, because then you'll know when the newest mini lesson series video drops on you. Thanks again for your great support of ACB. Take care.